Bradley's Estate Agents uh, was founded in 1992 by myself and Brian Bradley and Mike Dibble. Um, we now have 33 offices operating in the southwest, uh, Devon, Cornwall and Somerset. Uh, very proud of what we've achieved. We're an independent company um, offering as broad a service as humanly possible. But for us, it's not just about a state agency. It is offering a wide service, range of services for our clients. Uh, so we offer surveys, mortgages, uh, general insurance, uh, a bit of everything that, that is property related. Um, we consider ourselves a, a bit of a one-stop shop. A state agency um, has always been at the forefront of recession peaks and troughs. Um, unfortunately, uh, over the last five to six years, um, a state agency got hit really quite hard. Uh, the number of property transactions reduced quite dramatically. Um, and obviously everyone had to rationalise their business. Um, we're now in a position where things are looking far more positive. Um, the transaction numbers are increasing. But we've retained our business model of providing a broad range of services to ensure stability for the group and also um, exceptional service to our clients. We set out very clear um, guidelines with uh, Southwest Communications when we were entering into agreement to go ahead with a new system. That we needed to have the opportunity to be able to cover our home workers, be able to take calls on mobiles, be able to route the calls around the company, and one of the things we were definitely wanting to achieve was no changing costs. We've always wanted to be at the, at the forefront of a state agency and the changing face of a state agency. The last five to six years have really made a difference to the way in which estate agents operate. Um, it is going to go very much more online. It's, it's definitely getting more customer focused. But we want to keep our personality in the dealings with our clients. So to be able to integrate our software systems, our estate agency uh, website, uh, and all the other services that we provide with the phone system, it enables us to keep in touch with our clients on a very regular basis and maintain that uh, level of service. One of the things which we have to be very careful about coming out of the recession is increasing our staffing levels too much. The phone system now gives us the flexibility to be able to route calls from that are made into any branch through to be answered wherever we want them, including our home workers, our customer services department here. We do have a lot of branches to deal with. That's easy enough for us to do because we can actually get the telephone call that comes in, find out what the client wants, which office she wants or which member of staff, and we can then actually click on the screen and transfer them straight to that member of staff if it's a particular member of staff that they need to talk to. Working towards also longer opening hours, um, we now are open effectively to answer people's calls up until uh, 10 o'clock every day of the week. And that is helping to gain the instructions, which is really the lifeblood of the state agency business. We have what's known as our home workers. So when the office closes at six o'clock, our home workers take over making telephone calls, receiving incoming and making outgoing calls up until nine o'clock at night. So if a client, we do phone someone, somebody's able to phone us back or somebody can phone in if they're making a late call to the office to maybe cancel a viewing appointment, we can do it there and then. We feel that, that we're very much more customer focused and have to be in this very competitive time. Uh, and so uh, being able to be available when our clients want us uh, is, is paramount to the service, our overall service that we provide. The phone system now has really revolutionised the way we're able to do all the calls. Um, it's given us the flexibility, it's given us um, great opportunities to be able to route calls wherever we like within the business, so it really has met, the, met our needs. We've managed to uh, integrate the phone system with our uh, estate agency software system, Repit. Um, that to us is, is um, a, a real win. Um, our, our staff are so excited about the phone system and the integration with the, uh, the, um, the uh, software. And for me, the most gratifying part of it was hearing one of our customer services staff squealing at the first call that came in that popped up on their screen. Um, so for, for, for me, that was just it. Uh, we'd arrived. 
It's made such a difference. Whereas before, when the client would call, we'd have to try and find them on our repeat system. Now, a client phones in and basically, we get a little green box that comes up, says that a client's phoning in, we can click onto that one and it will actually drag through the client's information. So instead of us having to fumble around, we know exactly what the client's talking about straight away, whether it's arranging a viewing on a property or a client that's actually got a property for sale with us, we can go straight into the client's file. I think one of the main issues at the start was being able to achieve the cost neutrality of the whole of the changeover. You could have had an offering using different companies, but the short tail systems uh, really gave the flexibility for all of our differing offices um, and it therefore stacked up cost-wise. I was very impressed with it there, I had no qualms about going ahead and changing the whole phone system over to short tail. We were able to run various trials here and actually test the system out. Um, the full-blown system works a lot better than the trial was able to ever achieve, um, but it really proved the concept then, that we would be able to route the calls wherever we wanted, and call quality was perfectly okay. I was actually quite excited about the, the, uh, the, the potential future-proofing, the ability to be able to tag on other uh, elements of the system that we can work on. I think we're, we're certainly scratching a bit of the surface. We're getting an awful lot more than we used to have, but we're still scratching the surface as, as to the capabilities that the system has. So I think that additional flexibility that the short tail system has will help us enormously. One of the beauties with regards to the short tail system is that as we're coming out of the recession, it's likely we will need to increase our staffing in the offices. Therefore, we'll need to add additional desks back into some of the branches, additional PCs, additional phones. With the short tail system, we can, we've already bought the handsets, but we can then add that into offices because the administration of the short tail system is so simple. And there's been half a dozen people trained within Bradley's, so we should be able to do most of that ourselves which makes it very effective going forward. We obviously are managing a lot of phone extensions around in the company. And because we employ our own IT people, we can move very, very quickly to install additional computer. One of the problems that you can come across with some suppliers is that they can't move as fast as we want to be able to move. Now, we will be able to control it. We can install the phone, install the computer, we've employed the person, we're up and running quickly. It gives us more control going forward and certainly over the next few years we do expect to see a fair bit of expansion again in the group. So it will come more to the forefront every month. When we were looking for our very first solution as Bradley's estate agents back in 1992, for us it was the natural choice to use somebody who was local, uh, that was able to provide us a, a you know, broad service. Um, the company has always strived to make sure that us as the customer has been happy. Um, and 99% of the time that will always happen. Uh, everyone's willing uh, to, to uh, get stuck in and try and resolve issues that crop up. Um, and we work together. Um, and we've worked with other uh, suppliers in the past, not necessarily in communications. Um, but unless you've got that, that, that uh, trust and, and uh, liaison, um, it's not going to work, and we feel as though we have that with Southwest Communications. I've known them myself now for 18 years. I travel past their uh, door every day of the week, and it's one of the reasons why when you're working on a project of this sort, you know you're going to hit some problems, but they're always available. We can sit down together, discuss the issues, and resolve it quickly. Um, and you know, they've got the manpower, the skills there to be able to resolve it. I'm not a telephones expert. They are, um, but uh, we always manage to get the right result. And you know, Southwest Comms, I'd never look anywhere else with regards to our, our, our communications these days. Southwest Communications is a company that, that, that is on our doorstep. So, as Rick has said, that, that you know, speed of response is important to us. But the vast majority of the competitors that have approached us, and there's many of them out there, as we know, we're in a competitive world. Um, don't seem to really fully understand that we're not a single office operation. So it's very easy to put 190 handsets into a single building and make it all work. But we're spread over 33 locations. So for us, 
We needed to know that that was going to work and they were going to be able to communicate between our branches very simply. And the cost savings of doing that over an IP route is, is clearly uh, advantageous to us. But it's because of Southwest Communications' understanding of our business, we've worked with each other for a very long time, that they know the unique uh, aspects of, of what we really need.